Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today. So today it's Sunday here in Belgium. So happy Sunday for the people who are watching on Sunday. Um, so yes, we are back with another speed build. So we are still building in Chestnut Ridge. This is time on the 30 by 40 size lot that uh, Synproof created a gorgeous house for um with the pack of course um sadly i did had to demolish it because i wanted to build something for myself um, i'm redoing every lot in chestnut ridge because i just love this world so much and i really felt that this lot needed a eco-friendly modern uh kind of ranch so that is what we're building today so we're doing a traditional kind of vibe on the outside with little modern touches um and then incorporating the eco lifestyle expansion pack to go along with the horse ranch expansion pack and i really really like it i have been playing around with horse ranch and the eco lifestyle in my personal save file i am doing a rags to riches and i am obsessing with with um, just, you know, working off the grid, having also simple living on, so also a little bit of the cottage living as well, um, and then doing all the horse ranch stuff in between. And it has been just so much fun. I'm definitely enjoying my gameplay a lot. Um, I've also been playing a lot of Sims this week. Sadly, I have not been recording a lot uh, because I just really wanted to enjoy the game. You know, I got in this early access from Sims um, and I just really wanted to play with the pack when i had early access i just was building and building and building and creating content and i didn't really had the opportunity to play so yeah that is what i did this week i just played with the pack and you know living my best sims life basically um, but of course i did build a little bit and that is this eco lifestyle home um or not eco lifestyle home this eco friendly ranch that i'm creating for you all um so i love um the idea behind this house so when i was building this i thought the the main body of the house the more right part is like the more traditional part that was already there then the sims bought the house and then they added on the left side of the building and as you can see there's a garage right there that is like a flat roof a little bit more modern um we're inserting like our solar panels there we have like modern little twists there so yeah that is like the new modern extension and then this part here where we have our chimneys is the more uh traditional part um and i like that idea <laughs> i just thought let's roll with that so let me first off let's take a coffee sip um i am drinking still black coffee but now i actually bought um unroasted un, un uh, no sugar unroasted almond milks mediterranean or something like that and i'm kind of curious if that like has like a different taste I don't like it. <laughs> I was like, mmm, a med med Mediterranean rose. I don't know. Mm. It's a maybe. It's a maybe. Maybe if it's, I would make it like an iced coffee, it would be better, like with some almond milk, some coffee, some ice cubes. You know, I think that would be better. This is this is a meh for me. Anyways, uh, starting with what are we doing? Um, shaping the backyard. Um, so the backyard is gonna be fairly small. We are on a thirty by forty, so I do feel a thirty by forty doesn't really has the you know the space for a full on ranch so we're not doing a full on ranch we do have horse tables at the front a tiny backyard and at the front we also gonna have a little patch for doing gardening very important if you want the like the um the simple living trait on your lot um i love working with that and you know you need to grow your own vegetables and your own fruit so you can do that in on this lot or i'm gonna add in those overgrown uh, garden patches that came with 
cottage living. So you can do your oversized crops, but also your regular, regular crops you can grow in there as well. Um, so your grapes, your strawberries, um, pumpkins, eggplants, whatever you want, you can grow them in your own garden and, you know, live a simple living. Meat though, I cannot help you with that. You do need to go for the grocery store, <laughs> um, but that is absolutely fine. Um, oh, and I also stuck in a truck there in the garage because I just thought it looked really cute. Um, it does take up a little bit space in the garage on the inside, but it's fine. I mean, the truck was too big to, to fit anyway. So <laughs> that's the only way your truck will fit, but it's cute um, nonetheless. And that's all that matters in The Sims, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. So I'm going with an exterior wallpaper, a combination of um, eco lifestyle, horse ranch, and again, uh, cottage living. Um, the left side, the white brick is cottage living. The pink is, of course, eco lifestyle. And then the wood tones is horse ranch pack. So I did combine those three packs together and I think they work perfectly. Um, I'm definitely building a let's, I'm doing, I am, oh my gosh, Mona. <laughs> I am doing a let's build series on the channel as well, where we are incorporating all the packs and doing a full on, um, like, how do you call it? Farm and ranch as well. So at that Let's Build series, I'm doing cows, I'm doing sheep, uh, mini sheep, mini goats, um, llamas, horses, chickens. Um, I'm going to add in some places for your... Um, your cat and dogs to maybe do a little bit of outdoor activities. I never add them in. Um, I used to do that when uh, cats and dogs came out. I added in lots of like cat and dog things to play with outside, but I stopped doing that, uh, which is a shame. So I am going to do that in my Let's Build series. We're going to make a little area for the dogs to, uh, you know, work on their agility and, you know, do stuff <laughs> with the cats and dogs items. It's gonna be fun. So if you are interested in seeing a full on build with all the items in there, all the packs, you name it, um, pack overload, please do watch my Let's Build series. I will link it here up in the screen. Part one and part two are out. Currently working on part three. I want to release that either tomorrow or Tuesday. I am gonna try and plan a video every other day now in my vacation so this upcoming week and i'm also gonna try and pre-record some videos to keep up that energy although i cannot promise anything uh, because people tend to come into my uh, agenda and plan stuff with me and that happens and you know being social with others is also very important although i actually really hate it <laughs> I hate being social. Please leave me alone and just let me play my Sims game. You know, I have been socializing this last week, like every other day. And I mean, I love my friends. I love my family and I love seeing them. But for the love of God, please let me just play, play some games and leave me alone, um, which is all about the upcoming week. Um, I have no social plans whatsoever. I'm going to stay in front of my computer and people are going to leave me the hell alone. So yeah, lots of content coming your way, <laughs> which is going to be so much fun. Um, although I do have one socialized yeah, I do have to do one more thing. I do have to go and see the Barbie moving this week, but it's with my children. I already seen it yesterday with my friends. Um, and I have to say, I love that movie. I don't know what people are like. I don't know. But why are men so mad? The movie was awesome. I loved it. All the little outfit changes and then the throwback to like all the Barbie, like the houses and the camper and even Skipper's little tree house. It was so nostalgic for me and it made me want to play with my Barbies again. Sadly, I gave them all away because my kids don't play with Barbie anymore. Uh, my oldest daughter did play with Barbie, 
My youngest actually never did. She played with Enchanted Moles. I don't know if you guys know Enchanted Moles. Also really, really cute. Um, but she never really did Barbie. We actually did buy her the Barbie mansion, you know, the Barbie dream house, uh, a two story home, not with the swimming pool though. It didn't have a swimming pool, but it did have like an elevator going up, uh, a cute little kitchen with living area. Upstairs, it had a bedroom with a bunk bed and a normal bed. And and a little shower section. She did got that uh, present for Christmas. Uh, it cost me 150 euros. And she pay played with it once. <laughs> with her enchantables in there. So yeah. Barbie was a bust for my youngest. Um, which is weird. Because she does love everything like Barbie movie. She has watched every Barbie movie with me. <laughs> <laughs> I adore Barbie Barbie movies. Um, I used to like when my daughter was like really, really small, my youngest one, I bought every Barbie movie out there that was currently available back then. And we would just have Barbie weekends, you know, just go on the couch, have popcorn and snacks and, you know, blankets and just watch Barbie the entire weekend. And we did that for years and years and just rewatched uh, Barbies that we have seen like multiple times. We were obsessed with Barbie, me and my youngest daughter. Um, she already watched it as well. Only my youngest one still needs to watch it. Um, and my oldest really enjoyed it as well. She's actually coming again to watch it a second time. Um, it was just so good. Um, and it also inspired me to build a ranch Barbie. <laughs> I'm also working on a Barbie ranch. I know everyone has already done one. But I just want to. It's not that I'm building stuff on my channel because it's like... Um, you know, trending right now. I'm building stuff because I like building them. So I am working on a Barbie build as well. <laughs> Very excited about that. Hopefully it's coming your way like next weekend or such. Um, but just a, a nice little Barbie ranch uh, because we did get a nice uh, pink wood swatch with the pack as well. So I think we can live out our Barbie dreams if we absolutely want to. Um, I already actually did a Barbie build on the channel. Like, four three or four years ago i don't know um it was like in the week that toddlers dropped i was doing a barbie build i did remove that build from the channel um because of like there was some age restriction problems when youtube was like you know every we're gonna set every like child thing to actually child um content and you know your 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 channel was getting flagged right, 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 left and right with, for like Barbie and Hello Hello Kitty stuff and such, uh, which actually we were doing adult content, but with a, you know, childish vibe. So I did remove the videos from the channel, but they are back up. So I also will link those here up in the screen if you are interested in my old Barbie build. Be aware, it's before terrain editing, it's before platforms, it, I think it's even before half walls. Um, it's like before everything, um, I did a Barbie build. So I'm actually itching to do a new one um, and to do a better job because that one was kind of cringy and not as great. <laughs> but still, if you want to watch it, it's right there. Um, so yeah, back to the build because I've been blabbing and blabbing uh, my heart out. Um, what are we doing? Oh! the kitchen. So the kitchen, I started it off as like this, like really soft bluish color. And later on, I am going to change it to like a wood tone because it doesn't really fit the vibe of the living room. Um, it was kind of clashing. So we're going to do a wood tone kitchen. Um, we are using the kitchen from um, the Horse Ranch expansion pack. It's just a gorgeous kitchen, you all. It fits in perfectly with the rancher style. Um, yes, I do know that this build actually was a little bit on the modern side. I mean, as you look at the exterior, it's like a mix between traditional and modern. But on the inside, we are going more into like traditional. Um, but I am going to change the flooring. Um, now we're using the horse ranch flooring, which is a little bit worn and torn. And I'm going to change it up to like a more modern vibed flooring from Eco Living just to elevate the house a little bit to like modern standards. And I'm also going to leave little touches of 
eco living here and there just to give it a modern vibe, which you will see later how I'm incorporating it. <laughs> and I really, really like how I'm doing it. Um, it's fun. It's fun and... Uh, I don't know. I just like this house a lot. I love the little details in here. Um, it actually took me a long time to create this one. Um, when I cut down the, um, the actual raw footage of this build, it was 56 minutes long in sped up six times. So it was long. I did a lot of detailing. So I did cut down this video to like 34 minutes speed build. And at the end, like around the 34, 35 inch mark, we will be starting a house tour for the house tour junkies, of course. Um, sadly, no separate house tour for this video. Um, but I do have another video lined up for next week, um, which is actually going to be a three part series. So um, we're gonna do a first part exterior, second part interior, and a third part house tour. Very excited about that one. Um, that's like a very large mansion um, with lots of secrets. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I have been working on that build since last year, October, September or October. So we're almost like a year round right now. So very excited to show you all what I created. That was a long, long project. But the long projects usually are the best in my opinion. So yeah, very excited to finally show you all what I've been working on for like almost a year uh, the upcoming week. Um, so yeah, let me... So sorry, there's like something in my throat. <laughs> but yeah, we are now working on the hallway. So I definitely went all out with like little knickknacks in the hallway because I just thought it was cute. Um, and then for the living room, what am I doing? Adding in some plants and some decorational items. Um, oh, I'm using the book nook frames. They are so cute though. I mean, I really do like them. Um, and then for the kitchen, we are going with that brass looking lamp that came with horse ranch and then we are doing the cottage living fridge which is also functional off the grid really handy uh, i don't think that stove is though but it's a really nice stove and then also doing um a tea maker as well so i'm gonna do a little tea nook there on the left and then wash washing up here on this little nook as well and i think it, it works really well um with your sim when they're cooking, um, everything is in range, which is really nice. And then adding in some clutter on the island as well, just to make it look and feel a little bit more lived in. So let me take another coffee sip. I mean, it's not that great, but I still feel very happy when I take my sip. I'm a coffee junkie. If you ask me, I, I I drink like, I don't know, like six or seven cups a day lately. And then I combine it with Nalu as well. I don't know if you guys know what Nalu is. It's like a mild energy drink that you get in like multiple tea flavors, but also some like funky flavors. The last one that they like released was Violet with Cassis. Oh, so good. But I'm currently still obsessed with the tea flavored, uh, like hibiscus tea flavored um nalu love that drink that like every day um it's not healthy i mean it says it's tea but it's it's not healthy <laughs> just saying that drinking that much ca caffeine that i do on a daily basis is not healthy um it's an addiction i have an addiction it's a coffee addiction i can't help it um i mean i'm already 39 turning 40 this year <laughs> and um you know coffee was just there for me i have been drinking coffee since i've been a small child um my grandmother back in the day when we came to visit her she actually made children's coffee and what she did is she just you know poured in like a, a itty bitty little like stripe of coffee in a tiny children's play teacup and then fill the rest with milk and that's how i started drinking coffee like when i was really really small like six seven years old maybe even younger um it was normal back then like that was like the 1980s <laughs> um, and, and back then that that was something like not weird the coffee wasn't weird but then again everyone smoked back then smoking 
in the living room, in the kitchen, in airplanes. We smoked in airplanes. We smoked in in trains. So you know, we it wasn't the most healthy time back then. Um, so yeah, I have some things that I still do that, <laughs> that are a little bit frowned upon back, uh, you know, at this point. But I don't give my children coffee. Oh no, my oldest daughter does drink coffee, but she's almost eighteen. That's fine. Um, but the youngest does not, although she does want to. Because every time when I go into Starbucks, she's like, oh, mommy, can I take a sip? That looks so good. Can I have a sip? And I'm like, no, you're not getting any, any sip. She once got, took a sip of my Frappuccino, but I had a decaf Frappuccino. So she could take a sip and she was like, <laughs> she really loved it. So yeah, I'm really giving her uh, no coffee till she's old enough. Um, but yeah, that's me on coffee. So another sip. So we are now starting with um, the bathroom. So downstairs we have one main bathroom that is used by the master bedroom. So we have a master bedroom downstairs, but not enough space to add in an ensuite bathroom. If this was a 50 by 50, I did a build on, um, probably I would have built back a bit more and to the side a bit more just so that I could fit in a walk-in wardrobe and an ensuite bathroom. Um, but I couldn't really fit. I mean, I could have done the bathroom there on the back but I really wanted a separate little seating nook with a fireplace for my sim because we are also doing um, knitting in this house so um, I focused on knitting laundry as you can see there is laundry in the main bathroom there will also be laundry outside as well um so knitting laundry crocheting um you know just simple living eco living those were the vibes that i was going for and i thought it was really cute to have um, a little living room area in the master bedroom where my sim could sit and knit this definitely was um, thinking about when my sims are getting older, like in that elderly stage. And I usually make them all knitters. I know it's so cliche, but I love when, I love when my sim knits items and cross stitching as well. I love when my sim makes these little cross stitches and I hang them up throughout the entire house. I find that fun. So I thought let's have an area where my sim can do cross stitching and knitting in their bedroom. I also added in a little desk as you could see for the laptop that they own um, because they are ranchers and, and they do need to do a little bit of business. So there is a computer in the bedroom, but it's a laptop. So you can just drag that in their inventory um, if you feel that having a computer or a laptop is a bit too much in your bedroom which I get. I mean, in the kids' bedrooms, upstairs my kids have their computers in their bedrooms and that is fine because that's their confined little space. But in my bedroom, there is no computer. My computer is downstairs in a little nook. <laughs> I have a office nook downstairs um, with no doors, which is so annoying. Um, but yeah, in my bedroom, computers are not allowed. Only sometimes the laptop when we are in bed. But it doesn't stay there. Um, but, you know, when we're like watching a series, although now we do have a television in our bedroom, so we don't need it anymore. But we used to have not have a television. And then when we watched the series on the laptop, you know, the laptop went to bed with us. Uh, but other than that, no computers allowed. I don't, I don't like the vibe, you know. It doesn't really feel like a bedroom if you have all this, that, that technology and stuff in there. Although saying that, I am on my phone. <laughs> my bed in my bedroom like usually I go to bed at like around 10 11 ish and then I say to my husband I'm going to bed early um because I'm tired and then I'm gonna lay in my bed and watch TikToks to like one two o'clock in the morning and then wake up at seven again and that has been my routine for the last couple of months is that healthy no it's not again it's <laughs> um it's just uh it's an addiction <laughs> um which i should probably stop doing um 
but yeah, I do have my phone on my nightstand and I should probably just not do that anymore. Um, so what are we doing right now? Oh, we're doing, yeah, that's it. We're doing the sec second living room. So downstairs, as you all saw, we have our kitchen with our living room. And then here we have another living room, but it's an informal one. So this is the area where your Sims will watch television, will play the piano, will play chess, um, and just chill relax and hang out. This area is definitely the more family orientated room and downstairs is more for entertaining, which I love. Um, I love two separated areas in, uh, in the Sims house. It just feels luxurious. No, <laughs> it just feels really, really nice. So I did definitely set this up for like, uh, like cozy time. As you can see, we have like the, the couch section over there, the piano over there. We have our world globe for mom and dad when they're going to sit there late at night watching a movie. They can grab a whiskey right there. So yeah, love. I loved that living room. And I'm going to show you that, of course, in the house tour as well. Um, and then here we are starting with the kids' bedroom. So the first bedroom that we're doing is the teenager room. Um, we're going with soft colors, like soft pinks, soft, like blue, greenish color. I think it's green. This blue, uh, this green color, love that. Um, combining the rug with the bed as well. I love that pattern. I don't know what that pattern is from, but it's a gorgeous pattern. Um, love using it in my houses. And to give the bedroom a little bit more of a detail and interest, I actually divided the bed with a uh, wall and spandrel so that we could define our spaces. So this area here is going to be the sleeping area with the clothes and the makeup. And then the first part is going to be where we have our computer area and study, study nook. So yeah, definitely wanted to separate the both um, to give the bedroom a little bit more interest. And I'm doing that in all the bedrooms except for the toddler slash nursery. That one I keep normal um, because I don't want my toddlers to have routing issues. My toddlers tend to have routing issues lately, which is annoying. Um, so I kept that a little bit more cleaner uh, bedroom. But for the kids' bedroom and for uh, the teen bedroom, I did clutter it up a little bit um, and gave it a little bit more detail, which is so much fun. And I love this little rug, the rug with the sheep. It's so cute. Um, don't you all have that as well, where you're playing with this back and every eyes and you're like, oh, this is so adorable. Um, yeah, definitely me. Uh, uh, with the rugs. Oh, I love the sheep rug and the little horsey rugs. They make me so happy. Um, yeah, I'm definitely in love with this pack. And I know there's like a lot of controversy around this pack because people are saying it could have been a, a game pack. Why is this an expansion pack? It could have been included in Cottage Living, which I totally agree because Cottage Living and this pack are just perfect for each other. I mean, they could they had could have put this in cottage living, but they didn't. Um, so yeah, that that is a shame. That is definitely a shame. But I do feel that this pack is an EP because of this world that we're getting. All of the horse uh, horses that we can create, the horse like um, skills that they've gotten, they 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 get their own set of skills, which is definitely different than cottage living because in cottage living we got um, cows and llamas attached to an object. Horses are not. If they would have added in horses in cottage living attached to an object, I have I would have been so mad so i am happy that they have like this very that they actually function as cats and dogs i'm i'm happy with that um but i do see that this this pack could have added it be added in in another expansion pack i am well aware <laughs> um but still i love it i can't help it i love horses i mean i'm so afraid on, on riding a horse i actually did ride horses like when i was smaller like um how old was I? I think like 12, from 12 to 14, I rode horses. Um, but it was like not <laughs> um, great, <laughs> if you know me. So I love horses, but I was also scared 
for horses, which is weird because we also had a Chetlander. Um, although my, my sister-in-law had one, um, but it was like right behind our house. So we saw it every day and we cuddled with it. And I loved that little Chet Lander. Um, but I like a big horse kind of scares me. I mean, I love cuddling them, but you know, getting on a horse, not for me. <laughs> it's not for me, but my kids love horse riding. They are all for it. So, which is great. Um, so yeah. What are we doing? Oh, the kids' bedroom. It's so, so cute. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So I do have to say, um, again, there's a house tour at the end of the video. Um, I am not showing me building the basement and doing a lot of the like backyard stuff. I did cut out all of that because the video was way too long. But there is a basement with all the eco living items in there which is really really fun um so you can do candle making um the fizzing station is there the fabricator i added in the recycle machine is there um we have the flower arranging table from seasons at the front um and also like the little like insect thingies that i never play with i also added those in um so yeah you could do the eco eco lifestyle on this on this um in this build if you want to um there are solar panels and um, there's just so much and i talked about bullshit over it i'm so sorry i just feel very talkative today um it's sunday and i feel happy <laughs> and when i'm happy i talk way too much so, so sorry about that um but it's just it's a good day so let me take my last coffee sip of the video because we're almost heading into um, into the house tour. I did do a little knock over here for studying. We have our um, our little desk in the bedroom, like I said, for our laptop. But I also wanted an area for a de designated like computer, an area for studying, you know, working on skills. And I thought this little nook over here would be perfect. So I added in the sketching tablet thingy where you can paint on and do like the entrepreneur career. And then also a normal laptop um, so you can work on your writing and other skills as well. So yeah, definitely an area for focusing on skills and making that money because you can make a lot of money on your computer in the sims which is awesome um i didn't add in any like streamer setup or anything like that because that's that didn't make sense for the vibe that we were going for um and then what are we doing here oh we're furnishing the hallways as well i love i love adding little details in my hallways just to make it feel a little bit more lived in i used to leave my hallways blank like back back in the day when you go like older videos like five years back or even longer how long have i been creating videos way too long <laughs> but like five or six years back um i actually left my hallways blank which was stupid um but now I do have a love for just filling in my hallways with little details and making it look cute. And then here doing the backyard. So we do have our chickens on the backyard because when you're doing simple living, you do need eggs for ingredients. So we do have our chickens right there. And then on the backyard, uh, we're going to do like a little patio area and an area for our clothing line as well. So for that laundry day effect, I've got you covered. We can hang up our laundry outside, which I actually really like doing. I like using the washing machine, but I also like washing my clothes in the, in the washing tub and hanging them up, which is strange because I detest laundry in real life. <laughs> but in The Sims, I'm like, yay, let's do laundry, you all. <laughs> don't, don't tell my husband though, <laughs> um, because he's currently doing the laundry. Um, because yeah, I, I kinda, I kinda don't want to. Um, so yeah, so I did the cross stitching back basket here on the outside of, um, the seating area and then also a barbecue area as well. So I think we're done with the speed build part of the video. Um, so we're gonna now hop into the house tour part where I'm going to show you everything, including our little basement that you all, of course, haven't seen yet. So yeah, stay tuned. We're going to hop into house tour next. Okay, guys, we are now in the house tour portion of the video.
video and I'm going to show you everything that is in the house. So we are on the 30 by 40 size lot still in Chestnut Ridge in Riders Glen, if I have that correct. Um, so this is the world that we're working with right now. We have our 64 by 64 right there and then uh, our little cottage that we did uh, a little while back and now we are doing this 30 by 40. 40. So let me show you everything that I did. Um, I am actually playing with the Grove family. So, or the, is it Grove? Yeah, it's Grove. And the funny thing is that Juniper Grove actually went into labor, which is so much fun. Um, and it's actually really nice because we did add in a nursery. So she can use that if she wants to. Um, and then also the two, um, I wanted to say cows, but they're, they're horses. The two horses also got them their own stable over here, which is really, really nice. So yeah, let's just jump right into it and I'm going to show you everything. So this is the entryway, of course, of our eco-friendly uh, ranch. Here on the right side, we have our two little stables. They are a little bit small, but they do fit the horses comfortably. As you can see, they can stand here in the front. Um, we have like a mini a mini sheep over here. I, yes, I did give them mini sheep and mini llama. Every household needs one or two or maybe five. Um, <laughs> but yeah, these are the stables. So we have uh, water, we have a feeder, everything your horses will ever need. I mean, look at look at my flock of... Oh, why are you standing in them? Oh my gosh. They're so cute. I love them. Um but yeah are you going through the door oh door's working um but yeah these are the stables for our horses this horse is like giving me the side eye he's squinting with his eyes i don't know what's wrong <laughs> um but yeah those are the stables that come with the house and then this is our little garden area so i have been play testing this my crap, my crap, my crops look crap. <laughs> um, they need a little bit of love, but it all is all functional because I was kind of scared that the ones here on the side wouldn't work because we have the decorational grapevines there, but they are working, which is awesome. Um, here I added in the flower arranging table because I actually love flower arranging in the game. It's so much fun. Um, I have also added in like the beehive and then um, like the little critter thingy that makes you fuel, I think. I don't really do that a lot, uh, but it's there if you want to. Um, and then here on this side, I also added in a little play area for the kids. So I went with the swing because swings are just way more fun than jungle gyms. Adults can use the swing, which is really nice. Um, and I also added in a dew collector on this side so that we can reduce those bills and, you know, go with the eco-friendly vibe that we're going for for this ranch, uh, which is really nice so yeah this is our little garden here on the side there is the garage i decided to stick in a car in there so you cannot enter through there which is fine um, because we can enter through the house as well and the entryway to the um, um, the basement is in the garage as well which i will show you at the end of the video so yeah going through here we enter the house. So this cute little uh, area, I had so much fun creating this. Um, I was showing pictures to my friend because I was just so, I was just so happy. I was in my happy element when I was decorating this and it looks really cute. So this is an area where you can place your backpack for the kids that come from school. They can take off their shoes, hang up their coats, just a, a nice little entryway for your sims. And then on this side, we actually have um, the stairs leading up to the second floor where I made a dedicated nook for pets, which I really like as well. So we have the toy, toy chip toy chest, um, a climbing thingy for cats, a um, feeder, and then over here we have our, oop, our like accessories, like the, you know, the, the Riemann Litze, <laughs> and then uh, <laughs> the 
the cookie jar as well um so yeah and then going through here we enter the the formal living room although you can use this informally as well um but i really like this little dining area over here i just love the table it has so much detail like the wood grain so nice and then with the the cow fur like chairs on there it's just so nice um and then when you go through here we actually have the living room so the living room this is the informal living room where you're probably more gonna entertain than chillax although we do have when you turn around some nike bookcases with the book nook kit so you could read a book here which i definitely recommend because the lighting is awesome here i love just reading a book in like good natural lighting it makes me happy then with a cup of tea or a cup of coffee with me my day is good and then here we can also benefit the two-story height windows which is really really nice a little seating area over here for you know when you want to watch the children play um and then um we also have our little balcony over there where we have our second living room so yeah this is the living room then going through here up the little stairs we enter the not the bedroom <laughs> the kitchen mona so this is the kitchen so the kitchen i went with the horse ranch cabinets um and i just think it looks really cute i like this kitchen it's actually fairly large so cooking together will be no problem here we have our bin over here with the uh the kids thingy i don't know what it's called again but it's right there <laughs> and then our little tea nook over here as well um, which i think is really good i wish this object over here it's like a wine barrel that our sims could actually like take wine out of there how yeah, it would be so cute if we had that um but alas it's it's decorational only um but yeah this is our little kitchen so going back through here um back through our dining room um we enter our bar area i mean we could have done like a larger dining room a kids play area but i didn't want to i wanted the bar bars are necessary in my lots and of course we needed one here so this is a perfect area for when you're doing aging of your wine and yes there is a, a nectar maker in the basement so when you're making your nectar and you are like aging them and maybe they're like perfectly aged at that point because we're storing them in the basement you can go and place them here and you can pour some wine for your friends and family and guests and such which i love so this bar is you know for nectar wine tasting but also normal drinks as well so we have our nectar fridge here on the side and all of our bottles of like whiskey you know the jack daniels and uh what is my husband drinking william lawson loves a good william lawson um also drinking oh what is that called again rum <laughs> that's it <laughs> lots of rum as well um and then here we have our big sliding doors into our uh, backyard which i'm gonna show you later it's really small so you know it doesn't take much time and then here we have another hallway <laughs> and then here we enter our garage which i will show you later with ha which has the entryway into our basement and then two more doors so this door over here is the main downstairs bathroom this is the one that you use when you have to on uh, the master bedroom so i decided to do a dedicated laundry area over here then laundry baskets over here and then our bathtub over here i mean look at this this is so nice i love the integration of the green wall that gives it more of that eco vibe that we're going for and then we have our toilet over here oh they already made a mess, you all. Oh my. <laughs> what is what is this? What, what is happening? Who are you? <laughs> why are you in my... Um, why are you sleeping on my floor? <laughs> okay. I, I didn't know what was happening there. So I did forget to paint this wall. It will be painted when uploaded to the gallery. I'm so sorry. I did forget that. Sometimes I forget little things, y'all. Um, but yeah, we have our double sink over here and then our, our shower over here. 
there's just so much drama in this family. I love it. <laughs> um, so yeah, going through here, um, we are in the hallway. And then, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm still... I'm still like blown away at what was happening in my bathroom. Um, and here we have the master bedroom. So the master bedroom, I try to incorporate that eco living vibe, adding in those vines over here as a divider. I just thought that was a really cute idea. Um, then we have our fireplace over here with the, with this gorgeous green couch that comes with eco living as well. I think you can fabricate this one. Um, and there is a fabricator in the basement, by the way. So that's really nice. And then we also have our rocking chair for knitting. I mean, look at how, how cute is this? Sitting there with the fireplace on, just knitting, living your best Sims life. Um, and then here we have the master bedroom. So I added in our little desk, like I said, some um, frames. If you want to do some uh, pictures, like customized pictures you can place them there in the bedroom and then our bed over here with <laughs> with the book nook kit uh little items as well um so yeah that's the master bedroom so let's go back through here and then we're gonna go up into uh, the second floor so let's walk around here i love walking around as a sim i don't like first person view though because i get kind of nauseous but you going through it like this with the tap mode is really nice. So let's go up the stairs. Um, hey, hello. <laughs> we have a child over here. And then we're in the hallway. And I love this hallway. Look at this long corridor of a hallway. So here I added in a little bookshelf. A little shelf over here. Here again, frames for customizing if you want to. We have our office area over here with the book nook kit, really cute. And then our formal or informal living room with our television and such. So here you can sit, watch television, edit in the guitar that came with the bonus item. So if you pre, um, if you purchased her horseman's pack now, I think before like somewhere in August, 15 or the 31st, I can't remember correctly, but you do get a pre-order bonus and that is this um, guitar. <laughs> this, is this guitar and another item, which I don't know, but I love the guitar, it's so nice. Um, and then we also have our World Globe with drinks. We can do some chest over here. We can play our piano and then here we can actually do a little bit of painting as well. And I, I love this view as well. We have the view of the very nice large um, area where your 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 look at your dogs, your horses can run. There is a ball there for your horse to play with, which is really nice. Another trailer over there. It's a nice little view. So you can do a little bit of painting over there. Um, so yeah, this is our informal living and you can look over here. We have our living room. You can see the stables from here, which is really nice. And then let's go into our first bedroom. So this bedroom is the kid's bedroom. I love the ceiling. I mean, this pink ceiling is everything. So we have our bunk beds over here. So you, I mean, we're already growing the family. We have another baby that is about to pop out of her belly. So maybe they can later share this bedroom or she can take another child and, um, you know, the oldest one can have their own bedroom. Um, but yeah, this is the kid's bedroom. This is where the bunk bed is. We have our little, um, drawing area over here and oh <laughs> there's juniper with her belly i don't know what you're doing here you're playing some lego before you're you're popping out your kid which is fine i mean it's relaxing relaxing um but i made a little play area over here with the lego station and then the the big ass dollhouse as well and i think it looks really cute i love the ceiling though i cannot get enough of this ceiling it's so nice. So going back through here, we have another door. And I think this is the bathroom. It is. So this is our upstairs bathroom. Kept it really simple. Um, in the same style as the downstairs bathroom, nonetheless. We have our toilet over here. Toilet roll is a little bit too high, Mona, but that's fine. <laughs> and our bathtub with a view. I mean, 
how how nice is that and that we don't have any neighbors so we can actually be butt naked in here and then our walk in a uh, shower as well um so yeah this is our upstairs bathroom so there's only two bathrooms in this house which is i think it's fine um and then in here we have oh we have the nursery i went with the starry sky for the nursery because it just makes sense because babies they will be laying here and looking at the ceiling so a starry sky just made a lot of sense so this is the area where you know your baby can lay and play we have a toddler bed um yeah this is the nursery or the infant room or you know whatever you want to call it and i think it's adorable so yeah and then here we have another bedroom and that is the teenager's bedroom. And for this one, I went with like a gray sky because, you know, teenagers, moody, kind of fits the vibe a little bit. Uh, but I love this so much. Um, so we have our study nook over here. I didn't add in a computer um, because I didn't feel we needed one. If they need a computer, they can use the one in the hallway or mom and dad can buy them a laptop. I mean... I don't know how spoiled your sim children are, but you can buy them if you want to. I added in a stereo or a radio over here so your sim can sit and enjoy music. Although I think they would probably be dancing and enjoying it, um, which is fine. <laughs> and then here we have the bed, our little area for the clothing. I think this is so cute. And then our little makeup station here as well, which I think is also really adorable. Um, so yeah, this is the second story. I love the hallway. Added in my own personal touches. Um, but let's go downstairs. Let me show you um, the backyard and the basement. So let's go into the backyard first before we go into the basement. Um, so the backyard is over here. Uh, and as you saw in the speed build, we did do a little barbecue nook with the Desert Luxe kits. I love this barbecue. It's so good. I love like there's like a little mini fridge over here where you can see produce in there. Um, and then when you turn around over here, I did add in um, a little area where your sim can sit, do a little bit of cross stitching. And then over here, um, you can enter the kitchen, which is really, really nice. Um, here I added in a little table for, you know, for that outdoor seating. When you have a barbecue, your sims can sit there. Um, here they can hang up their laundry, which is really nice. And then here we have our little chicken coop as well. Um, and then another <laughs> another wind turbine. So we have one on the roof, one down here below. So that is really nice as well. So let's go back inside the house and I'm gonna show you the basement area next. Um, so let's go back through here. Oh, and the garage. I haven't shown you the garage as well. So the garage is over here. You enter through here. And I actually added in uh, the woodworking table over here. And we have the recycle machine as well. Really important if you're going to do the eco lifestyle stuff. Our recycle machine is over there. And then here I have another pet feeder. Because I find that if you have pets too is better. Um, we have our fizzy drink maker. Yeah, this is a fizzy drink maker over here. And then here, oh, <laughs> the litter box. I forgot the litter box. It's over here. Um, and then when you go down here, we actually go into our little basement. So here in the basement, I went with more traditional vibes. Um, I don't know why, but I added in a little seating area over here. And then this is our eco lifestyle area where we have our fabricator and then our candle maker as well, which I think is really nice. Lots of, you know, counter space to add in more personal items. Um, I don't know what else you want to make me some candles that you're making. You can place stuff there, which is really nice. And then here we have our actual nectar making area so yes we can make nectar here it's in our basement we have a whole wall for aging nectar which i think is really cute and then here um our nectar fridges um, as well um so yeah that's basically the entire house whoops i'm so sorry so this is the basement from aerial view as you can see when we go up 
this is the aerial view for the first floor, second floor, and these are all the rooftops. So let's go back again. First floor, ground floor, basement. Um, this is how the house is looking. Let me pan around real quick. So this is the front yard going through here. We have the backyard as well. Um, so yay, guys, this is it. <laughs> this is it. Um, oh yeah, and our little horse stables, if you do want to see it a little bit closer up. This is how it looks when you're playing. And when you have your walls down, it looks like this. So actually really, really nice. So yeah. That's it, you all. I hope that you liked this little house tour. Grab this house from the gallery. It's there on the or my origin of Love Simply Sim. And hopefully you enjoyed yourself as much as I enjoyed creating this video for you all. And hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.